right, OCPS families, we have been listening to you. We have seen all of the questions that you've been posting on social media, on email, all of the things that have been going on since this distance learning um, experiment has been announced. And so we have been working to gather all of that information for you. So we popped down to the studio to create this for you to answer some of those questions. So the first question that is coming from many of you is about internet service. And we know that there are some families that don't have internet service. And Mariel, can you tell us there are some companies out there that are helping with that, right? Yeah, so we are really excited to be supported by such a generous community. And right now, if families in our area do not currently have internet service, they can work through Spectrum, Charter, Comcast, um, or AT&T to be able to get 60 days of free wireless internet service in their home. That deal extends not only to students, but to teachers too. Marielle, in our middle and high schools, in our secondary schools, we do have a program that's been in place for a while where we are able to give students hotspots to bring home so they do have internet access at home. But because of this situation, some other families that don't have one, their situation may have changed. So what can they do? No problem. So yes, our partnerships with Sprint and T-Mobile are continuing and stronger than ever. And we have available hotspots for middle school and high school students who are in need. If you need to apply for a hotspot, go ahead and pop on over to our website to apply for a hotspot to use at home during the school closure. Those hotspots have had their data caps lifted. That means that there is no limit to the amount of data you can use on your school laptop when it's connected to a hotspot to be able to complete your school activities. It can hold up to five connections. That means that if you have another laptop or tablet in your house, in addition to the OCPS laptop, then you can connect that laptop or tablet to that hotspot too. That's great for families who have more than one child, especially some that are in middle school or high school and then also have elementary school students at home that don't have a computer. One of the other issues that parents are asking about is the communications home. And we know that there are some families whose phone number or email address has changed um, since they last updated it with the school. So Marielle, what should they do? Yeah, so we know things are changing rapidly for families. You're gonna receive a phone call or email from your child's teacher this week. When you talk to them, please make sure you share any information about things that have changed. For example, your phone number, your email address, or your physical address, so that they can update that information in our student information system. If you do not hear from your child's teacher, please feel free to email your child's school with those changes in information. There's a website with all of the school email addresses located here. So I think one of the things that we want to tell parents also is to keep following us on social media. On Facebook, it's Orange County Public Schools. Just look for the four orange squares. And on Twitter, our handle is at OCPS News. That way, you're going to be able to make sure you hear announcements, but also all the great things that teachers across the county are doing. And you might get some ideas for what you might want to do at home as well. Thank you.